Aw, uh, I knew they had a statue of me somewhere. In my travels to the video stores and comic book conventions, I've seen many strange and wondrous things. And I've heard tell that there is already Halloween stuff being put out, even though it's just June, right here at home. Whether that's true or not, we're gonna go in here and take a look-see. Is it a look-see or a look-see? Look-see or is it a look-see? I don't see any signs that say that I'm required to wear a mask, and that's good because I forgot to bring mine. Guys, this place is absolutely enormous. I've been in here last year filming uh, the Halloween stuff and the Christmas stuff, and it is just packed with anything you can imagine. Huh, this is like a uh, an end table. I thought it was a fire pit, but it's like a table for a, a setup out on your patio. That's pretty cool. Man, I just come into a place like this and I could stay for so long. Cause there's so much cool stuff. Look at these wooden benches here. I'd love to have that set up like in my backyard. What the heck? Kissing possums. Hello, Mr. Owl. Oh, sweet, look at this chair. It reminds me of the chair on uh, Men in Black. Of course, that one wasn't wicker. Ooh, it swivels too, look at this. That is pretty cool, 329 bucks. Ooh, very soft. I don't wanna get all flowery, but that would match my valances in the RV. Water globe. I thought these were like maracas for a minute. Whoa, look at this, it's a pig. What the heck is that? It's a, I think that's a planter. It's an empty pig. <laughs> God, I swear sometimes I am so stupid. Look at this. They have got so many pillows and cushions for like outdoor uh, setups on your patio and that. And they're huge. Like look at how big and soft and fluffy these things are. Dang. That pillow. Ooh, these are cool. I like this. I like the ones when people have these made out of like a shirt from somebody who passed away. Even though that seems kind of creepy now that I think about it. It's a cool way to, like, remember someone and still be able to hug them after they're gone. What? Twinsies. <laughs> if there is Halloween stuff in here somewhere, I'm not seeing it. And I really doubt there is, so I'm not really expecting to see it, but... This is usually where they have, like, the clearance stuff, so I would expect it to be here if it was, and it's not. Look at this. This is sweet. Artificial turf. If you had a man cave and you wanted to do it up, like for football, you could get one of these and just paint an end zone on it. I thought these were like toy bazookas, but I think they're displays to hold fake flowers. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Look at this. I'm so stupid. I thought it was toy bazookas. What the heck is this? Okay, this is kind of cool. A DIY terrarium kit. Terrarium in a jar. Huh. Rocks. Oh. Well, I thought these were maybe like those uh, key hiders. You'll find these with like a little um, door on the bottom. You hide a key in there and stick it in your little garden. And that way, if you lock yourself out, you can get back in. Okay, for some reason, this setup here reminds me of the movie Fight Club. I mean, it looks pretty awesome, but I think it's because in the movie he talks about, like, the styles and brands that he's into and basically how, like, the things we own actually come to own us, if that makes sense. Pop-up dog bowl. That's pretty cool. Not pop-up dog bowl. <laughs> Buzz, your girlfriend. Dreamers! Wait, it's poo bags. Okay, I don't know. Oh, 30 bucks for these. That's not too shabby. I like these. These fake candles. They're lead candles with a remote. So you can just be like, <coughs> cue the berry White. It would be cool to get something like this to hang outside the RV. 
like when I'm just chilling there by a fire and hanging out, maybe editing on my uh, laptop or something. Might be kind of cool to line the awning with something like this. I don't know, I think that I think I like the hanging ones better. Yeah, smaller ones like this, although I do like the Edison style. Look at the shape of those. That is pretty awesome. What is that, $21 and there's 15 lights. I wonder how long, 15 feet long. Hmm, two or three of those around the awning would be sweet. I'm definitely gonna keep that in mind. Citronella candles. Citronella E. Wait, now here's 30 lights, 18 feet for 17 bucks. That's definitely a better deal. Individual lead candles. Maracas. Oh my god, look at this ginormous salamander. I think that's what it is. Hello. So I just asked the guy, he said that there is a huge truck back there full of Halloween stuff. It's not out yet, but he said come back within the next couple days. So be watching for a follow-up video. Frog mantra. Okay, this is sweet. I love wind chimes like this, the big ones. But I just wonder, like, if you hung them outside an RV, I mean, if you were at a campground, I wonder if other campers would be like, get rid of that thing. Whoa, look at these, they're huge. Hello. <laughs> oh my God. Red birds. Oh, look at this guy. Holy crap, he's got spikes on his back. Oh my God, look at the pigs. Kissing pigs. Sheep with boots. Oh my god, it's a giant grasshopper. Look at that thing. That reminds me of, uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Sing bunnies. Oh my god, look at this pig. What in the world is this? It's like a llama doing yoga. What is this one doing? <laughs> look at the look on its face. Look, guys, there's nothing in this aisle except for one lone frog. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. Your friends will be back soon. Beluga whale. Whoa, look at these giant ones. Oh, I thought they were actually carved out of... Well, that might be real wood. I can't tell. What the heck, guys? Look, it's like a space invader's basket. Okay, that is sweet. I don't know what it has to do with a basket or not, but space invaders. I guess that might be the reason why it's on clearance. I don't know too many women who come in here and they're like, okay, let's see, I like baskets and space invaders. <laughs> I don't know too many people who would be like, all right, I like, take two. I don't know too many people who would be like, all right, I need a really nice woven basket, but I also really like space invaders. Look guys, it's a giant whirly gig. Look at this, it's as big as my head. It's bigger than my head. Okay, this is funny, there's these giant mirrors over here. This is what I look like walking through the store vlogging. Ooh, this aisle's like Jumanji. Look, it's like the Edward Scissorhands aisle. Okay, this bench is sweet. I actually have a uh, tabletop, a cutting board tabletop that I just stained to go in my RV in place of the dinette. This would be sweet if you had it up against the wall and then the removable table like right here. You could take it out, put some pillows back there and stuff. That would be awesome. Hmm, 150 bucks. It's not real wood, but it is cool. Look at this, guys. They've got so many different kinds of chairs in here. I mean, so many. More chairs and more chairs and more chairs. Ooh, look at this one. I bet it swivels. I don't know. I can't tell unless I... Yes, it does. Ooh, look at this, guys. These remind me of an alpaca. Look at that. Look at these. They're like barbershop chairs. That is pretty cool. I like that. It's rounded for your butt. Okay. I actually really love this chair right here. Look at that. How much? Two nineteen. This would match the wood on that tabletop. Hmm. Okay, guys, look at this. This looks totally awesome right here. This is called diamond tufting, and I'm actually going to make a headboard for my bed in the RV that looks just like that. That looks so cool. I think this one needs a haircut. Whoa, 
no, this is the one that needs the haircut. Holy crap. Oh my god, it looks like Snuffleupagus. Oh my god, this one looks like the french fry guys from McDonald's. Oh look, here's the headboard like I was kind of, well, kind of like what I was just talking about. That's not diamond tufted, but let's see. Yeah, this is more like it right here. Only mine won't be so blocky. That's flat, and I want mine to be more uh, puffed up like that ottoman was. Holy crap, they even have mattresses in here. Look at this. It's not just one stack like, hey, we got some extra mattresses, let's sell them. They got tons of them. <laughs> Ooh, very soft. Tons of rugs. Holy crap, I spotted this one up here immediately. Wait, look at this. Ooh, soft and furry. What about this one here? Oh, the Yeti Ultra Plush. Holy crap. It's a Yeti rug. Ooh, it's so soft and lovable. Look at this one, oh my god. I've never seen a blue Yeti. I mean, I've never seen a white Yeti, but I've never seen a blue Yeti. Holy crap, look how long the shag is on this one. Oh my god. 150 bucks for a 5x7. I'd love to feel my bare feet on that. There's so many soft and comfy rugs. Oh my gosh. Now that one's nothing compared to this. I love you, soft, comfy rug. Will you marry me? Look at this. I cannot believe how many rugs they have. It just keeps going and going. This whole area here, this entire corner of the store, some stores are this size. And this is all just the rug section. Look at this pig basket. Be brave. That's like a bat. I guess that would be bat girl. I know, it looks like bat girl to me. Okay, yeah. This one, well... Like, how do you determine between Batgirl and Batman? I think it's the rounded cheeks. I don't know. Man, this place is just stocked with stuff. Sheep. Look at this, guys. I don't think I've ever been to a store that had this many selections for laundry baskets and laundry bags. It just, like, reminds me of Spatula City on SpongeBob. <laughs> an, entoy, an entire store dedicated to spatulas. Kind of like that, though. Baskets. They've got a lot of, like, space-saving things here, which is where my mind is, being that I'm getting the RV ready. But not really shopping for that kind of stuff today. A black globe. Ooh. Spinny. Fiesta round mini spice jar. Hmm, and that's kind of cool. Okay, now I know I keep talking about my RV, but I'm thinking about those things, and you always have to keep in mind that you don't want like mice and stuff getting in there. So you don't want them to be able to smell food. And I was thinking about getting like a bunch of things like these for that pantry door that pulls out. You'll have to go watch the video about it, you know, to see what I'm talking about. But it's a big door that pulls out, and it has shelves on it. And you could put anything you want in here, and, and mice could probably never smell it. Like cereal or anything that you have in boxes. Anything that has the potential of, uh, here's a bigger one, that'd be more like for cereal. But anything has the potential of leaving an odor for mice to smell and want them to come in there. See, I love this kind of store. But this is the kind of store that you come into and you see, like, men with their wives or girlfriends and they just cannot wait to get out of here. I've seen them arguing and fighting through the aisles. Look at this. I've never seen a rubber splatter screen. Okay, look at this. I like stuff like this that's not like everything else you see. Look at the white blades. That is really cool. And look at this one up here. Multicolored. I actually really like those. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm such an idiot. I was looking at this, and for some reason, the 10 and the 14 being so close, I read this as a 14-piece set. So I'm like, where's all the 14 pieces? And I counted them. One, two, three, four, five knives. And then they each come with, like, their little slip cover. I'm like, where's the other four pieces? <laughs> And I realized, oh lord. Look at this, guys. It's like a giant chess piece. The conch. You guys ever seen Lord of the Flies? I hear the ocean. I think this is left from Halloween. 
dinosaur skull. I remember seeing these at Halloween last year. I'd like to accept this peace award. Aw, uh, I knew they had a statue of me somewhere. What the heck is this? There's a bunch of these skulls here. Maybe they just had it set up um, in the Halloween area, but this is like a crocodile skull. Oh my god, look, it's a balloon dog. Balloon dog? Balloon giraffe? What the heck? Maybe it's not, but it sure looks like it. Hello, chicken. Bunch of mirrors and wall art. What the heck? Look at this giant painting of a steer. Multicolored steer. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not anything I would ever buy, but I would actually paint something like that. And look, you can tell it's an actual painting, too, because here's the thick brush strokes. And they're all one of a kind, because look, you can see that shape there, and then it's different on this one here. Hmm. Honey, while you're out today, can you pick me up a giant painting of a multicolored cow? <laughs> Vacation Bible School. This reminds me of an 80s uh, Vision Streetwear print. Look, I thought this said Goonies. It says goodness. Who puts this on their wall? Alright, let's see. It would be perfect if we had two llamas right here. Okay, that's me right there. I'm an adult, but not like a real adult. <laughs> Some of these things are so cheesy. Like, that's a meme, not something you hang on your wall. Multicolor bear. Marilyn. Oh, this has got to be my favorite right here, the pig. Hello, pig. Jesus loves the little children. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at this. Monkeys. Holy crap, there's a sloth on there. <laughs> a giraffe and a, what is it, a crocodile or alligator. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. And look at this. This is to measure how tall the kid is. What in the world? Kind of cool, but mysterious. Now I have Jesus Loves the Little Children in my head. Ant elephant. Ooh, look at those tusks. Tusks. This is just like over with the uh, carpet net. Like this entire, all the way down there, and all the way over, this whole corner is nothing but the, these picture frames and stuff. Who's decorating their house with this enormous thing? It's like an empty apple. Or these, look at these tall things. Look at this enormous cat here. <laughs> this whole video has been totally possum. All right, guys, I think we've seen just about everything there is to see in here for the moment, at least. We will come back, though, when they start putting out Halloween stuff. I'll tell you that. <laughs>